Sure did. Nick Watt, thank you. And out front now is Kaz Cam Rudin, who is still at Burning Man in Nevada's Black Rock Desert. Uh, Kaz, we are looking, we have some video actually that you sent us uh, of just some incredibly thick mud and soaking wet tents. What has it been like for you all living in these conditions? Actually, um, you know, we have uh, a really well-organized camp, Camp Daydream, and uh, half the camp is uh, RVs and uh, half the camp is tents. So as soon as the tents started getting waterlogged or unlivable, uh, people in RVs started taking in some of the tenters. So everybody was warm. Uh, we also have sh shipping containers, uh, semi-trucks that um, we had emptied out and we made uh, really beautiful lounges in there for people to sleep in, blankets. Uh, you know, we are a, a community that comes together in hard times. So this actually could end up being one of the best Burning Mans for a lot of people because it used all of the principles all at once and tested it uh, for the full experience. Yeah, it certainly did test you all. And, you know, with that idea of, of self-reliance here, uh, that is also something that was tested. But that said, do you think that there are things that could have been handled better by organizers? What are your thoughts on that? Um, actually, so this is the first time this has been, you know, uh, in 35 years that they've been doing this, this festival. I think this is the first time that anything like this has happened. I think they handled it to the best of their ability um, and put out all of the uh, proper instructions, which is not to move. Then it was up to the attendees to follow those rules. As soon as you start moving 30,000 pound vehicles, RVs, uh, things without four by four, you're gonna get stuck. So if you listen to the rules, it's all drying up right now. Uh, people are starting to leave, but the people that started to leave in panic or wanted to get out ahead of time while it was still raining, they're still stuck out there. They're still stuck out on the road out and they're causing a bottleneck situation for all of the people that actually stayed and listened. So you stayed, you've listened. When are you planning to leave? I'm listening. Uh, I'm probably gonna leave after the man burns tonight or tomorrow morning because uh, as you guys said, uh, and uh, we've been notified that the gates are now open. Uh, the problem is that this this Monday is is the mass exodus. So this is when the traffic will be the heaviest. So people can plan on sitting in their cars from anywhere from two to 12 to 14 hours on the way out. So I'm going to wait and hopefully just be in line for a couple of hours before I head to Reno. Patience is a virtue for sure. Kaz, thank you so much for being with us and we hope that you have a wonderful time. You're very optimistic, even under these conditions. It's 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 such a great community to be a part of, and it really is. Uh, it's all about coming together and working as a team. Thank you so Kaz much, Cam Rudin. Thank you from Burning Man.